We heard you created an SMS number in Twilio and connected it with GPT using trade.io so that your mother could chat with ChatGPT. So first of all, does your mom know she's chatting with an LLM and not you? This could be something that we talk about offline. But more importantly, has this allowed you to subcontract all her tech support questions? Yeah, so I think we all kind of get the parents who are just like, hey, how do you you know, reset the, the router or the DVR or turn on your computer. And I got <laughs> TV remotes. Yeah, not exactly. Working. So I got a lot of like some tech questions from my mom. Um, some of it was actually the funny enough, like recipe based. She's like, Hey, like what is a quartz of this translated into this metric unit or something? <laughs> and I, it got me thinking. And instead of coming back to my mom and just being like, just Google it. The one problem my my parents have with Google and search engines is you get a ton of results, right? So you, you put in a query and you get like pages and pages and pages of data. Getting to the one that's meaningful is like kind of difficult for someone who doesn't know how to like navigate the internet or even know how to get to a search engine. But you know what they all know how to do is they know how to text. So mm -hmm. uh, I basically, yeah, I just integrated um, using my iPass tool of choice, which is trade.io prompts get sent from a text message. I have like some con context that I feed into OpenAI's API. And then I use Twilio to kind of pass it back and forth. So like I've been monitoring what my mother has been asking OpenAI a little bit. Some of it's like restaurant recommendations. She just moved. So like where to visit or things to do on the weekend and then like recipe based stuff and tech based stuff. So don't worry, I still talk to my mother on a daily basis, yeah. um, but it's kind of empowered, you know, being able to get to meaningful information without having to like, um, you know, go to Google and, you know, sift through all of the different results that may or may not be uh, helpful. Very cool. I think that's a, a nice use case. I would love to see the tutorial blog post on, on how you're able to hit, connect those two because... It's probably something that um, I could do for for my folks as well. I often get the old, uh, "Hey, can you ask ChatGPT for for uh, this or or for that?" They're they're on three point five and they're trying to like compare the output with four. Yep. 